previously on Sincerely Daisy Co. In this bowl, I have all of my melted butters, including my beeswax. If you see in this bowl here, I had an excess of butters and oils. Hey, 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 Bloomin' Beauties. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will show you what I created with the leftover oils from my previous video. And if you haven't watched that video, the link will be pinned in the comment section below. A recap of those ingredients, I had beeswax, cocoa butter, shea butter, sal butter, as well as kupuasu. I also had barrage oil, tamanu, moringa, black currant seed, argan oil, and evening primrose. Let's get started. I sat the bowl on the counter, covered up so that it could stiffen up slightly and I continued to whip it until it became fluffy, again like buttercream. An alternate option would be placing the bowl in the freezer until a hard outer shell is formed. And here we have a texture break and I will continue to say it will look like buttercream. the excessive oily greasy feeling that typical body butters leave on your skin here I am adding arrowroot powder into three separate containers since I am using three separate colors for the final product. Something to note, because this recipe does not include any water and body butters should not come in contact with any moisture or water, a preservative is not needed. the body butter with micas. I have blue, purple, as well as pink, and I will mix that until fully incorporated. And you can see I moved really fast here. video was technically a continuation of the first one um, this was not a very long video but I still hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in the daisy field the next time bye